Right now, there's a lot you can make with a 3D printer, including for the first time ever, functional human brain tissue. We catch up with the team at UW-Madison who developed it. Plus, a pilot program will soon equip some Dane County deputies with body-worn cameras. And the Wisconsin Supreme Court rules a Democratic challenger to Joe Biden must be on April's primary ballot. It's all ahead on News 3 Now at 10. 3D printing has been used for things like orthotic insoles and prosthetic limbs, but scientists at UW-Madison's Weissman Center have now taken it a step further. Arman Rahman talked to the brains behind 3D printed brains. And Arman, is this a real thing? Well, Eric, kind of. It's actually brain tissue. Researchers here are the first to 3D print functional and growing human brain tissue. You can 3D print a lot of things that just stay lifeless objects. But no one's 3D printed living brain tissue until now. And living means operating, growing, and a whole lot more. Actually, they can talk to each other. The scientists grew the brain cells side by side from existing stem cells they had at the Weissman Center at UW-Madison. That way they could measure how the nerves grew and sent signals. One way they did that was put the printed brain tissue next to spinal cord tissue and muscle tissue to see how they talk. When we uh, control the, uh, the activity of the cortical neuron, then we can control the contraction of the muscle cells. They are contract and release and contract. We, we can control the movement of their hand or our feet, yeah. While this has the potential to be used for therapeutics or spinal cord implants, the lead on the study says what's more important yeah, is, is using it to model and study diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's that are still difficult to understand, and then test drugs on the printed tissue more accurately. Try to understand how our brain cells communicate to each other, how this cell actually calculate because our brain is essentially a supercomputer, super, 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 super computer. Now, while the idea of self-sufficient 3D printed brain cells can sound scary, the team stresses that they're far from printing a whole organ, but it is kind of the first step to artificial intelligence, Eric. It certainly is interesting. Armand, thank you. Governor Tony Evers signing off on a 4% pay raise for building trades employees at UW-Madison and other universities of Wisconsin today. The move comes roughly two months after the UW System Board of Regents approved a deal with Republicans in the state legislature to unlock funding for those raises. Now, in exchange for the raises, the UWs will freeze the number of diversity, equity, and inclusion positions across its schools through 2026. New at 10, the Wisconsin Supreme Court says it will hear Governor Evers' lawsuit arguing the Republican-controlled legislature is obstructing basic government functions. Governor Evers' complaint brought forward three issues. As of now, the court will only hear one of them, which relates to the Budget Committee blocking funding for state conservation programs. Governor Evers argued committees controlled by Republican lawmakers are being used by the legislature to reach beyond constitutional lawmaking authority. Governor Evers, the, co the court's liberal majority, agreed to hear the case with the three conservative justices dissenting here. Oral arguments on the case are set for April 17th. I therefore proclaim we will have early spring. Yay! Good job, Jimmy. You are a hit. He is a big hit in Sun Prairie. The top prognosticator there, Jimmy the Groundhog, says to expect an early spring. He was not able to see his shadow this morning under cloudy skies in Sun Prairie. Meteorologist Alex Harrington joins us now with more in this first worn forecast. We appreciate Jimmy, Alex. I sure do. <laughs> based on this mild weather we've had, I think a lot of people would have predicted an early spring, though, today. Yeah, I, I would say so. And, and we've been talking about it, too, for a while, that the temperatures, they're going to be really mild. They're going to really soar over the course of the next week. I'm out here barely in a winter jacket, and it's still sitting at, my watch says, 31 degrees. Let's take a look at where those temperatures are going to go. No lies here. We're going to go all the way up into the 50s by the time we get out into the next early next week. Jimmy's right. We're right here. Even when the temperatures take a tumble by next weekend, got to make a little light out of it. Those temperatures are still going to be 10 degrees above normal. I said 31. No lies there either. 31 in Madison, 33 in Middleton, 33 to the west in Cross Plains. Zooming on out across the rest of southern Wisconsin, we've got a 30 to the east in Watertown and a 32 in Janesville and 36 still hanging on to that in Boscobel. As we plan the rest of your night, enter that fog there. We could be looking at some patchy fog overnight tonight, but that should burn on off, making for a beautiful Saturday with high temperatures up around 42 degrees. 
Thanks, Rob, for sending us this picture from New Glarus. No lies here either. We've got a picture of a robin making their appearance here in southern Wisconsin. And then let's contrast that robin to 13 years ago on Groundhog's Day. We had a lot of snow, a lot more snow than what we had even, even out here with these past two winter storms. Just a couple of weeks ago, coming up in Maine weather, we're going to track the warmth. We're going to track when we can expect the next set of precipitation, what form is it going to be in, and let's flash back to that big blizzard 13 years ago. Alex, thank you. A Minnesota congressman running a long shot Democratic bid for president will be on the ballot in Wisconsin for the April primary. The Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled today Dean Phillips must be on that ballot. He filed a lawsuit last week saying his request to be put on the ballot was ignored by the Wisconsin Presidential Preference Selection Committee and the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Phillips, the only Democrat elected to any public office challenging President Biden. Dane County Sheriff's deputies will soon be equipped with body-worn cameras. Sheriff Calvin Barrett announced the launch of a new body cam pilot program for the county this morning. The program funded through the county budget and will place body cameras on more than three dozen deputies in the West District. Sheriff Barrett says the pilot phase will allow his office to find out what works and what needs to change before he hopes to implement the cameras countywide. We're measuring what are the best practices, right? When do we activate them? How do we activate them? Also, what are the needs for the, or what are the resources we need to appropriately go through all of the video, to document the video, to get it prepared, not only to, uh, uh, you know, give to the public, but also to the district attorney's office. Dane County is joining Madison in the body camera experiment. The city council approved Madison's body cam pilot program last fall. Madison's program will start April 1st. Dane County's will follow sometime this year. We sent out a push alert through the Channel 3000 mobile app when we learned about this pilot program. Get the stories of the day delivered right to the palm of your hand. Download the app for free. Make sure to turn on your push notifications so you never miss a story. In northwestern Wisconsin, attorneys for a 15-year-old boy accused of killing a 10-year-old girl in 2022 are appealing a judge's ruling to keep the case in adult court. That teen is accused of luring Lily Peters into the woods, attacking her and strangling her until she died. This was April 2022 in Chippewa Falls. Last week, a judge denied moving the case out of adult court, saying it would diminish the severity of the crime. Attorneys for the teen, who at this time has only been identified by the initials CPB, say he'd receive better treatment in his case if it were kept in the juvenile system. Jury deliberations will begin Monday in the trial against the mother of a Michigan school shooter who killed four people in 2021. Jennifer Crumbly admitted today she and her husband gifted their son Ethan the gun he used days later in the attack at Oxford High School. She is facing four counts of involuntary manslaughter for providing her son access to the murder weapon. It was for him to use at the shooting range. We didn't just hand him a gun as a here you go son. It was something he could use and we went to the range as a family together. Ethan Crumbly pleaded guilty to the school shooting and is serving a life sentence. His father, James Crumbly, faces trial next month. Today, the U.S. started retaliatory airstrikes on Iranian-backed targets in Iraq and Syria. It's in response to that drone strike last weekend that killed three U.S. service members in Jordan and injured others. President Biden ordering those strikes on about half a dozen locations involving U.S. B-1 bombers. In a White House statement from tonight, President Biden said in part, quote, our response began today. It will continue at times and places of our choosing. The United States does not seek conflict in the Middle East or anywhere else in the world, but let all those who might seek to do us harm know this. If you harm an American, we will respond. The remains of those service members killed in last weekend's drone attack returned to U.S. soil today. President Biden and the First Lady joining grieving families at Dover Air Force Base in Delaware for the dignified transfer of the fallen heroes. 46-year-old William Rivers, 24-year-old Kennedy Sanders, and 23-year-old Brianna Moffitt, all sergeants, were killed in the attack. Their remains were each held in flag-draped transfer cases and were carried from a military cargo to mortuary vans. Late last night along Florida's Gulf Coast, three people died when a small plane crashed into a mobile home park in Clearwater, sparking a large fire that spread to nearby homes. One person aboard the plane was killed. Two others on the ground died. The FAA says the pilot reported an engine failure before that crash. One neighbor says he was enjoying a quiet night on the porch before noticing the struggling plane. We uh, seen a plane come over top of our house and the motor was popping and watched it come down and it made one last big pop and then it crashed and, and exploded. And we seen the flames going up and all that. 
The FAA and National Transportation Safety Board are now investigating. The Grammys are this weekend in Los Angeles, but across the street from the red carpet is an eyesore. A deserted development tagged with graffiti from top to bottom. LAPD says vandals tagged over two dozen floors of this luxury real estate development. At least 27 floors were covered with various graffiti and started popping up at the abandoned towers earlier this week. Police say it's teamed up with district representatives to develop a plan to better secure that property. Actor Carl Weathers, who rose to fame as Apollo Creed in the Rocky movies, has died. His manager said Weathers died peacefully at home yesterday. When Weathers auditioned for the role in Rocky, he was a former pro football player who who had never boxed before. He also appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows, including Predator, The Mandalorian, and Happy Gilmore. In Happy Gilmore, Weathers played golf coach Chubbs Peterson to Adam Sandler's happy character. Sandler paid tribute to his former co-star in a post to X this afternoon, calling him a great man and a true legend. Carl Weathers was 76 years old. Don't go anywhere. More local stories are ahead at 10 with a recent wave of unseasonal temperatures. Hear from one business owner who is being impacted by this warmer winter. That's next. Lane's Farm and Fleet's big pet care sale is going on now, and that means huge savings on the food, treats, and supplies you need to help keep your pets happy and healthy. Right now, get a free $15 Blaine's gift card when you spend $75 on Purina Pro Plan dog or cat food. Pro Plan uses advanced nutrition to create targeted formulas that help your unique pets thrive as they age and develop. So shop our assortment today and find the right Pro Plan formula for your dog or cat at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. The Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale is back. Enjoy the great outdoors at the Alliant Energy Center Friday through Sunday, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. Get started on your next Ford SUV. Like an adventure ready Bronco or Bronco Sports. Escape to take on the everyday. Or explore America's all time best selling SUV. Get here to your Ford dealer. It's Auto Show. The deals start now, and so should you. During Auto Show, choose Flex Buy on a Ford Escape or Edge with 0.9% APR financing for 66 months plus 2,000 Flex Buy cash. Southern Wisconsin and Grammy gift bags, Sunday. Welcome to Dwellings. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, it's Run's house. That's right, stand out! Because Rev Run is about to receive my highest honor. This is the Jennifer Hudson Legend Award. You are so legendary. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Well, what does the future of fire trucks look like? One company that custom builds fire engines is showing us with a few electric powered rigs already in service. Rosenbauer America's campus in Wyoming, Minnesota is responsible for the creation which firefighters are using in Los Angeles and also in Vancouver. Traditional fire trucks cost anywhere from $900,000 to $1.3 million. The electric powered truck known as RTX is nearly double at $1.85 million but it opens up funding options from cities and governments pushing to cut emissions. It's parked and running as we speak. We get a lot of grief sometimes that this does not no look like a normal fire truck. It's new, it's different. As soon as they get their hands on this thing, they completely change their mind. 
If you're curious about the charge, the RTX can go between 100 and 150 miles before needing to be charged, but there is a backup diesel-powered system that can refuel the car so firefighters can respond call-to-call -call on busy days. A new Apple product on store shelves tonight, the first brand-new product for Apple in seven years. It's a mixed-reality headset. It's called the Vision Pro. Apple CEO Tim Cook greeted eager customers at the opening of the company's flagship store in New York City. Cook calls the headsets the most advanced consumer electronics electronics device ever created. You might say they look like a pair of designer ski goggles. You better start putting away some money now if you want one. The Vision Pro costs $3,500 and that does not include any accessories. New at 10, Dane County is ahead of schedule when reaching its renewable electricity goals. It's being recognized for achieving 100% renewable electricity status. The first county in Wisconsin to achieve that feat. The 17 megawatt Yahara solar project enabled county facilities to offset their electricity use with local renewable generation. It was honored as part of Renew Wisconsin's 2023 Clean Energy Honor Roll. The county had a goal of being 100% renewable offset by 2025, but reached that goal ahead of time thanks to facilities like the Yahara Solar Project. We're, we're honored that Renew Wisconsin would recognize this achievement from Dane County, and we're very happy and proud to be partnering with uh, so many different folks from MG&E, Alliant Energy, SunVest, and all the county departments that helped to make this possible. In 2021, Dane County Executive Joe Parisi set a new goal that county facilities, fleet, and land operations be carbon neutral by the year 2030. I'll stick your tongue out if you're the newest animal at the Henry Vila Zoo. Two new rock hyraxes named Frenchie and Rizzo for you Greece fans. They were introduced there today. Rock hyraxes are native to Africa and parts of the Middle East. They're small in size, but their closest living relatives are actually elephants and manatees. You can meet Frenchie and Rizzo inside the zoo's primate building. Well, this season's mild temperatures are leaving an impact behind on businesses that rely on winter recreation to survive. It's only so many months of the year you can snowmobile or ice fish, but this winter those opportunities are few and far between. The owner of Bait Box on the Rock, a Fort Atkinson bait shop, says he got about a week and a half of good business for ice fishing. He says it's normally two months worth. With inventory ordered months ahead of the season, a regular weather can really hurt the business at the bank. If I can turn over this deficit and by the end of this year be even at square zero or at, at even, I, I would consider that a success. And he certainly isn't alone dealing with financial losses, and it's even worse up in northern Wisconsin where businesses are reporting 75 to 80 percent less revenue than last year's January totals. Well, more changes to this weekend's Frozen Assets Festival. Because of the warmer weather, the Clean Lakes Alliance has made the decision to cancel Sunday's kite flying event on Lake Mendota. All of the other on-ice events this weekend, like snowshoeing and pond hockey, have also been canceled. Last week, the festival replaced the 5K walk and run with an outdoor workout on the Edgewater Grand Plaza, hosted by Bar 3. That runs from 10 a.m. through 3 tomorrow afternoon, and there's still time to register online to attend. A ticket costs $45. And with that workout, you'll get a shirt, and for those 21 and over, a beer or seltzer. For more information on signing up, you can visit cleanlakesalliance.org. Time for another check of your first worn forecast with meteorologist Alex Harrington. Now Eric, yeah, a little bit later here, I'm going to show you, we've had all, the, the lakes were frozen, everything was so solid with winter, and I'm going to show here in just a little bit how far those temperatures have just swung and gone from bitter, bitter cold to really, really warm. It's all also part of the three things that you need to know. Less the patchy fog tonight, temperatures going right into the 40s, if not into the 50s next week. We're not looking at snow next week, we're looking at rain chances still. In our forecast. Look at our record high temperatures that we are expecting and record overnight low temperatures. Our temperatures outside right now are in the 30s. The lows next week that we are forecasting are going to be warmer than the current temperatures that we're at right now. With highs expected to be in the upper 40s and lower 50s, we're going to be pushing record high temperatures as well. 30s out there right now. Normal high temperatures are in the upper 20s this time of year, and we've still got middle 30s over portions of the Wisconsin River Valley. Unprecedentedly warm temperatures for this time of year. So we plan the rest of your evening going on into the overnight here. A little patchy dense fog may develop across southern Wisconsin. Temperatures dipping down into the 20s. That burns off, and then we go right up into the 40s. 
for your Saturday. Visibility out there right now, we're still at 10 miles across the area, but our future track visibility model is indicating that the visibilities may locally drop, especially in the Wisconsin River Valley, where we have a tendency to see that patchy dense fog develop, maybe a little bit more widespread towards six o'clock in the morning. So something to keep an eye out if you are going to be going out and about that there could be a couple of spots with patchy dense fog, but that burns off by the time we get to noon. Temperatures in the 20s overnight are going to warm up into the lower 40s. We'll do 42 in Madison, 41 in Platteville, and 40 in Baraboo. Again, normal highs are right around 27, 28 degrees. This is what I was mentioning before, my three things that you need to know. Look at the temperature swing. We were 14 degrees for a high just a couple weeks ago on Saturday, the 20th of January. That's way below normal for this time of year. That's 13 degrees below normal. Look at where we have gone. We just swung all the way into the 40s by the time you get to this Thursday. 44 was our high. That's 17 degrees above normal. Those extreme changes is what's causing all of this rapid melting. And then the lakes, of course, are becoming uh, unsteady and certainly not very safe out there. And as we march out further into the future, it's going to stay warm, according to the Climate Prediction Center. 40s, then we do the 50s, and as we head out into the next weekend there, temperatures staying still 10 degrees above normal. Thanks, David. Janesville filtered moon picture. Got filtered moon tonight, but look at this. Flashback to 2011. Remember this? This is the News 3 Now Studios. We're trying to unbury cars from feet and feet of snow. That is our patio out there. In, the tw in 2011. Look at that. We had 18 inches of snow from this weather event. Actually, almost 19 with this weather event, ranging from seven up in Marquette and Green Lake counties all the way to two feet over portions of far southeastern Wisconsin. Again, this Groundhog's Day blizzard was one to go down in the books. You had 60 mile per hour winds. We had snow drifts of six to 15 feet with that weather system 13 years ago to this very day. And coming up in sports, the border battle renewed on the ice. Could Wisconsin make it four straight wins over Minnesota? Find out next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Pick and Save, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. In a Class 3 casino, you're playing against the house, so there's no guarantee a player has to win, ever. And in a Class 2 casino, the players play against each other, and not the house. So someone always wins. So you're saying... He's saying if you want to win at something, you have to go to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, a Class 2 casino where someone has to win. How about this then? Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Spectrum Mobile brings you our best deal to start the new year. Now you can get unlimited mobile for $15 per line. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line with no added taxes or hidden fees and no contracts. Save over $1,400 for the first year. Call 855-231-7007. Spectrum Mobile includes nationwide 5G and the fastest wireless speeds with unlimited talk, text, and data. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line. Call 855-231-7007 or visit a Spectrum store near you. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. This is a real person seeking a solution to a real problem. Hi, fine, how are you? Welcome to the Good Feet store. How can I help? I have plantar fasciitis. My knees hurt, my hips hurt. Then she was personally fit with Good Feet Arch Supports. I don't feel any pain anywhere. Good. Seriously, no really? pain in my knees, my hips, nothing. This is amazing. I'm I don't want to take them off. It just feels like I'm in heaven. 
Oh, you're a blessing in disguise. Try them for yourself with a free arch support fitting at the Goodfeet store. Interested in an electric vehicle? Bershom has the largest selection of electric vehicles and a team you can trust. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's number one automotive retailer. Bershom Automotive, driven to deliver gas, hybrid, or electric. It's the annual RV show and sale you don't want to miss at Interstate RV, February 2nd through the 4th. Great RV show pricing, just up the road, Highway 51, Poinette. Call for action, only on News 3 Now. When your door is always open, so is the fridge. With Pick and Save, you get the same great prices, deals, and rewards, whether you shop in-store, pickup, or delivery. That's a win-win-win. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Just when you thought the border battle couldn't get any bigger, Wisconsin and Minnesota added more fuel to the fire in the rivalry, entering tonight both ranked in the top 10. This comes after the Badgers went into Minneapolis and swept the Gophers when they were ranked number one in the nation. First time since 2006, the Kohl Center was the site for a top 10 border battle. Gophers struck first to the first period. It's a two on one and Oliver Moore puts the biscuit in the basket to give Minnesota a 1-0 lead. Now, it's not like Wisconsin didn't have their chances. They peppered the Gopher netminder. 41 shots, didn't get one pass until the third. Badgers fall in overtime, 2-1 to one, the final. Speaking of top 10 matchups at the Kohl Center, there's going to be one on Sunday as well when Wisconsin welcomes in Purdue with the top spot in the Big Ten standings on the line. It's the fifth top 10 home matchup in program history. And we all remember the last one, 2022 Badgers and Boilermakers. Chucky Hepburn banked home the game winner. This time around, though, Greg Gard knows if they want to repeat history, they have to slow down Zach Eady. Take two guys that are four foot eight and we tape them together <laughs> and we get to seven four or whatever. It um, no, you you can't replicate him because we don't have anybody that big. So I don't have anybody on the scout team. Um, and they it's not only just him, it's the other pieces they have. You know, they're, just, they're a really, really good team, it, aside from Zach Eady. And then you throw him into the mix. Round two in the Highway 23 rivalry between Mineral Point and Darlington. Redbird's only loss of the year was to the Pointers, and Broker Busher didn't forget. He gets the bucket to fall for two of his team-high 21. This one stayed close in the first half, thanks to Landon Thousand. He drops home the floater. Thousand finished with a game-high 25, but Darlington would not be denied. Will Murray dials one up from deep. 13 big ones from him as the Redbirds get revenge and knock off the number one team in Division IV. 72-60 is your final. And if you missed it, this week's Wisconsin Huddle, head over to our website to check out our episode with Tyler Wall previewing their showdown with Purdue. And as always, you can come out to a live taping on Monday at Buck and Honey's in Wanakee with Connor Asijan. We'll start around 6.30. That's it for sports. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a pre-owned vehicle that doesn't break the bank? Come visit Stark on the Beltline. We've got Hondas, Subarus, Toyotas, and trucks and local financing options to help you get the best rates you deserve. Wisconsin's premier pre-owned dealership. The biggest and best RV event in the Midwest is back. It's the Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale. See a huge selection of RVs and campgrounds under one roof. Meet Gilbert Brown, Gridiron Great. Tickets just $10 and kids are free. Seniors, you're welcome at half price on Friday. Enjoy the great outdoors at the Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale at the Alliant Energy Center Friday through Sunday, February 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Johnson Financial Group started with an idea that a bank could do more for its community, helping its people make not just a living, but the life they've worked so hard for. That's why with our clients, we don't start with assets or balance sheets. We start with your story, caring about your hopes and dreams for the future and building a financial plan to help you achieve them the way we've done it for over 50 years. Customer focused, truly local, and committed to our communities. We are Johnson Financial Group. Welcome to Badgerscape Design and Landscape. We offer a full range of landscaping services from design to maintenance. Our professional team is dedicated to meeting all your landscaping needs. Call us at 608-295-1446 or visit badgerscapedesignandlandscape.com. 
Now's the time for a new Leisure Concepts hot tub, so check out this amazing special purchase. This six by seven foot hot tub seats four adults beautifully, has a powerful three horse jet pump, LED lights, 24 stainless steel jets, and a thick winterproof cover. The best part, right now it's just $59.95 and that includes delivery and training. Just $59.95 for all this. Get to Leisure Concepts ASAP and get yours delivered now. The monsters of destruction are coming and coming with a vengeance. Litnick Rampage against the Grain, War Wizard, Double Trouble, and the Veteran are ready to put on one heck of a show. Plus, Freestyle Motocross is back. X Games rider Willie Elam and friends with action you don't want to miss. Day and night shows ready to blow your mind. Every ticket is a pit pass. Come early to meet the drivers. Take a ride in a real monster truck. Don't miss the monsters of destruction at the Alliance Energy Center February 3rd and 4th. Get your tickets now at monstersofdestruction.com. This Valentine's Day, get a Heartbaker pizza from Papa Murphy's. You complete us. And we mean that literally. With Take and Bake, we prepare it, you make it yours. So make us yours today for just $11. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Hey everybody, Jared from Stark on Highway 19. Are you looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle that doesn't break the bank? Come visit us here at 502 West Main Street here in Marshall. Stark on Highway 19, Wisconsin's premier pre-owned dealership. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. Tonight on The Late Show, host of the 66 Grammys, Trevor Noah is here. He is my favorite Trevor and my second favorite Noah. Tonight on CBS. Let's go to Alex, final check of the forecast for the yeah, weekend. Yeah, the spring and the winter forecast, basically a little bit of patchy, dense fog tonight as we break things down here. Six, seven o'clock in the morning. Could have a little bit of that fog, but that burns off. Beautiful day. High temperatures up around 42 degrees in Madison. We'll do 42 in Lone Rock, 40 in Baraboo, 42 in Janesville. Remember, normal high temperatures this time of year, 27 degrees. We're nowhere close to that, and we'll be nowhere close to normal temperatures in the next seven to 10 days. Even the overnight low temperatures are going to be so warm. Look they're actually going to be warmer than uh, the, warmer than our high temperatures for this time of year in the 40s. We could be looking at temperatures in the 50s by Wednesday going into your Thursday. Even next weekend when things cool down, those temperatures are still going to be 10 degrees above normal. So no winter in sight any time soon for let's Southern keep Wisconsin. It, let's keep yeah. it that way. we got Badger <laughs> basketball this weekend right Huge here. Huge game. Big Sunday. One. Sunday against Purdue right here on Channel 3, folks. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend.